You might want to get over. We're supposed to be turning right soon. <laughs> Jason, did you hear me? You need to get over. I know. You're sitting right next to me. I heard you. You could at least acknowledge me. Will you quit snapping at me? I'm trying to drive. Oh, I'm so sorry that I want us to go in the right direction. Guys, it's fine. We don't need to rush. We can take a back road or two. It'll be fine. Exactly. Chill out. Fine. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, great. Now you're going to have an attitude. Uh, no, I'm done talking to you. Okay. Okay. Well, then maybe we should just break up then. No, no, no. Nobody needs to. You want to break up? Fine. I'll just jump out of this moving car. Fine. But this time you're paying for the hospital bill. I'm not covering it. Tiffany, please don't jump out of the car. You know what, Jason? You're just like your mother. You think you can just act however you want, but God forbid I have an emotion once. Don't talk about my mother. Why? You talk about mine all the time. You can talk about my mother. It's okay. You know what, Tiffany? I'm over this. I'm done. Okay. Well, I've been done since last year. You know, when your friend Trevor gave me his number at the beach house trevor did w i'm about to drive this car off the road go ahead i don't care please don't forget that i'm back here and i've done nothing i'm going to smash this truck into a semi good do you mind stopping to maybe let me out first and then you guys can kill each other all you want great now you've embarrassed me in front of my best friend uh, she's not your friend her and i hooked up a year ago what on second thought jason drive us off the road i am ready to perish i can do the first half of the essay if you want to do the second yeah that works jason what are you doing? Why are you talking to her? We got a project together. Oh, okay. I just, I don't think you guys need to be like talking like this in the hallways though. Like what? Oh, I just mean that, you know, since he has a girlfriend, you should be keeping your distance from him, school project or not, because that's my boyfriend and I need you to back off. Okay, but I have no interest in him, like whatsoever. Tiffany, you always do this. Give me some space. God, I need you to look me in the eyes and tell me you don't have feelings for her because you do, don't you? Don't you? Tell me. Let me know now. Well, what if I do? Wow. Really, Jason? What the hell is going on? So this is it? This is the end of us? My God, is that what you want? Well, it's clearly what you want. What? I didn't do anything. Don't even start. You've treated me wrong since day one. Then why do you stay with me? Because I love you! I love you. Wow, look at those beautiful prom dresses. Oh my gosh, I wish I, you know, had a reason to wear one. What are you talking about? I'm talking about prom, Jason. What do you mean you wish we're- You're my girlfriend, of course we're going together. Are we? You haven't officially asked me. Why would I need to ask you? Isn't it obvious? <sighs> I don't know, maybe so I can feel special? Isn't it special enough that I'm exclusive to you as my girlfriend? <laughs> you have not been exclusive to me. What? You literally chose to hang out with your family over me like four out of ten times. Whatever, of course we're going to the prom together. Whoa, excuse me, I never agreed to go with you. What? Don't just assume things, Jason. You have to ask me. I'm not gonna ask my own girlfriend to go to the prom with me. Okay, fine. Maybe I'll just go with someone else. Okay, well, good luck getting anyone else to ask you. Do you really think I'm not capable of attracting someone other than you? Get over yourself. You're not even that great. Like, you're literally replaceable to the left to the left. I just meant because everyone knows that you have a boyfriend, so why would they ask you? Just ask me. God, bro, will you go to the prom with me? No, but that's so forced. You have to do something, like, big and special. Like, what? I don't know. Take me to Disney World and ask me in front of Cinderella's castle during the fireworks, or get the whole football team to serenade me and do a synchronized dance. Just get creative. can I just write it on- No. I don't know what you want from me. Jason, I just want you to want exactly what I want and get it for me. Okay, and don't you want to go to the prom? No! Well, neither do I! What? What did I do? I thought you wanted to go to prom with me. Do you have anything you want to tell me? Uh, your hair looks good. No, I'm talking... Well, yes, it does. But I'm talking about something else. I can't think... Do you really think I'm stupid, Jason? I know everything, so lay it all out. Be honest. Is it already our three-month anniversary? Nope. It's our breakup date. What? You're breaking up with me? I don't know. Should I? What is going on? Who's Amanda? I, which one? Amanda parentheses work end parentheses. That's Amanda from work. And why is Amanda texting you at 12.34 p.m.? I don't know. I didn't even read the message yet. Okay, then I'll tell you. Can you cover my shift tomorrow? I'm sick. Oh, well, can you let her know that's no problem? Oh, is that no problem? Okay, what is that code for, Jason? Oh my god, there's no code. It oh, it looks like someone's trying to come up with a story. Tiffany, what the f- Oh no, you're not gonna turn this around on me. It's 100% you, and it's always been you. Well then, if you can't trust me, why are you with me? Jason, you know I don't have a choice. I am in love with you. Get that. Okay, then maybe work on yourself. What, so I'm the only one with a problem here? I mean, I didn't do anything. Yeah, you did. This is your fault. Literally how? Hmm, texting other girls, making up stories, lying to me. The list goes on and on, Jason. Fine, what, then let's break up. Fine, then I'm texting Trevor. Then I'm texting Amanda. What? How are you gonna do this to me? Tiffany, this is what you wanted. You did this, so. Well, fine, then I'm sending him pictures. Okay, well, bye. You're going to see Amanda, aren't you? I'm not gonna go see her. It looks like she's sick. Yeah, sick with herpes. 
which you probably have and gave to me. Let's just get back together. Are you hungry? No, not really. Oh, okay. Why, are you hungry? No, it's fine. No, if you're hungry, we can go get food. No, I just, I don't want to be annoying. It's not annoying. It's a basic human function, so let's go get food. Okay, well, where do you want to go? I don't know. It's up to you. You're the one that's hungry. Wait, you're not going to get anything? I don't know. I might get something. Well, I'll eat anything, so if you want to pick where we go, I can find something to eat anywhere. Okay, how about pizza? No, I don't want pizza. Okay, well then, how about Chinese food? I had that yesterday. Okay, well then, how about tacos? No, it's too far. Well then, how about you pick something? What? No, I told you, I don't care. Well, you seem to have a problem with all my suggestions, so... Well, there's a hundred other options, and I'll eat anything. Seriously. Okay, well then, how about sandwiches? Blech, no. Just pick where you want to eat, and I will drive us there. If you yell at me, I'm gonna lose my appetite. How about, if you see something, you let me know, and I'll pull over. <sighs> okay. You're not even looking. Oh, well, how about that place? Seriously, the one place I have to do a U-turn to get to? Well, if it's that inconvenient, I don't want it. Okay, well, just let me know if you- I'll just wait till dinner. It's 11 a.m. You're gonna wait until tonight? Nope. What? All I'm saying is you wouldn't be so mad about me going through your phone if there wasn't something to hide, Jason. Tiffany, you go through my phone all the time and you never find anything. Oh, excuse me, I think- I think you dropped your wallet. Oh my god, thank you so much. No problem. Okay, I see what's going on here. Excuse me? Tiffany, how do you two know each other? I have no idea who- Jason, is this what you're trying to hide from me? I have no idea who- Okay, the you know, Taylor Swift was right. Yeah, I don't have time for this. And it doesn't look like you had time to brush that hair this morning either, you bedheaded bitch. Oh, okay, so that's where we're going today. Tiffany, let's just go. This is so stupid. I'm so sorry. Jason, don't look at her. Look at me. You should be looking at me always. You know, there's a lot of girls out there that don't act like this. In fact, most girls don't act like this. Excuse me? And the next time you buy that $4 dip dye at CVS and you put it on in your bathroom, you may want to avoid breathing in all the fumes because you're not thinking straight, hun. <clears throat> Jason, aren't you gonna stand up for me? You started it. Well, if you hadn't committed adultery on me, then I wouldn't have to throw myself to the wolves trying to protect what we have, which is love! Oh my god, Jason, is that a new sweater? Yeah. It looks so comfy. Can I wear it? You're already wearing my sweater and my hat. So? So my mom keeps getting mad at me that I never have any sweaters and she keeps having to buy me more. But I'm your girlfriend and I'm cold. Yeah, I'm cold too. You know what? You've changed. How? You always used to give me your sweaters and now you're neglecting me. I already gave you like three sweaters and you've never given them back. And then you started taking them out of my gym locker every week. That wasn't me. I mean, that wasn't my fault. I, how else are people gonna know that we're together? Well, I gave you a ring. Don't even go there, Jason. Just saying. Well, you made me feel like you were cheating on me. Then stop stealing my sweaters. Fine, that's it. Then we're done. Well, can I have my sweaters back then? No.